Hi, I'm Sunny Carrito, a Youth Services Librarian at Pohick Regional Library. I found a graphic novel that will take you to the rainforest of Southeast Asia. The art and saving story of is very beautiful. Many pages are like a field notebook that has been painted. Very realistic pictures of the plants and animals that the writer, Chang Nguyen, has seen at her adventures. It really makes you feel like you were there. This story was inspired by Chang's real life as a wildlife conservationist. Meet Chang. When Chang was eight years old, she was walking home from school and heard a terrible noise coming from a building. She found out it was a bear farm where people extracted bile from bears to make medicine. While it had been used in medicine for thousands of years, new medicines meant that it wasn't necessary. Chang was sad and she was very angry. and She decided the next day to become a wildlife conservationist. Here's what she says about her decision. I had heard about wildlife conservationists on TV. They are people who protect nature all over the world, in deserts, near oceans, and even inside caves. That's when I realized I could protect the rainforest near my home. Nothing's going to stop me. Well, there was one thing stopping me. All the books I found about conservation were in English. Grr, I don't understand anything. My English is terrible. People also had a lot to say about my plant. How can a girl like you work in the forest? Ha ha, such a kid dream. You should be realistic, be a teacher or an accountant. Only Westerners can be conservationists. They have time and money. You can't even take care of yourself. How can you protect wild animals? People don't do that in Vietnam. Don't be ridiculous. A girl like you should concentrate on school, then get married when you grow up. People also had a lot to say about my gender. Girls are so weak. There is no way you can protect wild animals. And even my age, no one would hire me. I want to be a volunteer at your organization. Thank you, but you are so small, only eight years old. But I did not give up. I promised myself that I would become a wildlife conservationist. I tried to improve my English so I could read news about wild animals. I also loved drawing, so I made a field notebook for myself. I watched wildlife documentaries on TV every night. I spoke with conservationists from other countries. They had lots of information to share with me. I introduced them to the Touch Me Not plant, but they tried to touch it. I exercised every day and I ate healthy food so I'd be strong no matter where I was working in the world. But most importantly, I didn't stop sending volunteer applications. Each year I applied, again and again, year after year, until I was accepted. She was able to work in different parks and rescues around Southeast Asia and help all kinds of animals, but she most loved helping bears. She even got to see the bear she'd heard when she was a girl. Misa had been rescued and was safe now. My favorite job was to hide the bear's food and let them search for it themselves. Bears eat fruit and poop out the seeds, planting their food all over. Bears eat what they plant and they plant what they eat. One day, a tiny two-week-old bear cub arrived at the Save the Bear Center. It had been captured in a forest in Laos. It was a sun bear and they named her Soya, the Vietnamese word for sun. You'll have to check out the book Saving Soya to find out how Chang raises Soya and helps her learn how to be a bear in the wild.